Hi Soundies. Um, okay, continuing mixing. So this is mixing part two. Um, and we're going to look at mixing the Foley sounds, um, specifically the key jangle, which I'll do second, um, and uh, the Foley footsteps, which I'll do first. At the minute, we've just got them set at a level. Um, as we can see here, they're not very loud. Um, I did these sort of kind of in a hurry because to do them properly would have sp spent a while uh, with you just watching when I got everything right. So um, I should have recorded at a higher level, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to repeat, repeat that little trick by selecting the Foley Footsteps track, which is this here, um, and opening up this and just the EQ and just boosting the gain a little bit. Um, and I think I'm going to mute the key jangle. Also, what else am I going to do? The Foley Footsteps Bridge, I did as a separate take because it was on, you know, it was actually on the floorboards of my um, of my uh, studio. And so there's no real reason for that to be on a separate track. So let me just double check. Yeah, so let's find out where the footsteps finish. <laughs> easily by about there so I'm going to trim that down a little bit give it a little bit of space um, and I'm going to plonk it in the middle of the Foley footsteps the, that one track so we only have to record it once so I've got my scissors icon here so I'm just going to chop here and here I know there's nothing else happening here because um, it's all happening on the bridge and so I'm going to just move that up and can you see can you see the line like i can see these the lines the white lines that are the um the vertical lines that helps you match up to exactly where it was on the previous track because we want it to still be in sync okay let's have a little play of that Good. Okay, so I'm happy with that. I can just pull that out a little bit, really, just to, not that it makes any difference. Okay, ah, there we go. Can you see the little auto auto fades there? Okay, so here we are. I'm just I'm going to take the key, key jangle. Actually, going to let's just move this track up to the top of the Foley stack track. Remember, we stack tracked it yesterday, and I'm going to kind of do it on the fly and. It's very much to do with perspective, what type of shot it is and how close up the perspective of the foot, the footfalls are. So when we're in close up or when he gets up out of the uh, from his sitting position, when we see him in close up, I'll be lifting the level. And when we see him move away or further away um, or the shot is a, um, a more distant shot, like a medium shot, I'll be taking them down. Um, so here we are, Foley footsteps. I'm actually going to change, boost the gain a little bit still further. Okay, so um, as in before, uh, this is the first time that we've um, uh, tried to write automation onto this particular track. So I'm quite happy to sit right. It'll give me a warning. Um, but we haven't written any um, automation to the track yet, so it doesn't really matter. And when I'm using right, I know that I'm rubbing over any old crap that I, I inadvertently put, might have put on uh, at a previous time. Um, OK, so I've got my picture here and I'm going to do it on the fly. I haven't shown you keyframes yet, um, uh, but I will. Um, no, I was almost pressed record then. No, it's just play with the right function on. Um, I'll put the mix in. Uh, here we go. So this is this track. Uh, and let's go.
so there we have it um, again normally I would um, tweak around a little bit uh, but this is really to show you the process but um, let's have a little play of it so far let's go from here <laughs> Amazing what <laughs> some scratched up quarter inch tape will do, isn't it? Okay, I won't go through all the way through it, but it all seems to roll quite nicely. Now, I would be normally um, tweaking some pans at this point. Uh, in fact, why don't I just do that? So I'm, I'm going to go, and I'm going to go to, um, I'm going to go to touch this time because when I want to let go, I want you to go back to center because he is predominantly in the center of frame. But there are a few shots, particularly at the beginning, where we see him walk into frame in the in the um, 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 in, in the kind of second shot, really, when he walked in the forest. Um, there might be a little bit of movement in the churchyard, but he's he's sort of either in the centre or in quite longish shot. So I don't want to use too much of the wide stereo arc. So if I'm going to do, be doing it, I'm going to be doing it in small increments. So here we go. Um, so I've put it on to touch. Um, and here we are. Normally I'd have, be having some practice runs, but here we go. <laughs> so begin with centre, because that's where he is. like that. Slightly staggery walk. Maybe he's trying. Or he may be doing kind of 
I'm, in, I'm not really sure what I'm doing acting. Center frame, Thomas Panny with him. Probably shouldn't be hearing him by now anyway. Back on that little bit. Okay, I notice there's a little effect here of this door shutting. Oh, put this back, I've done with that now, so put that back onto read. It's this door shutting. Yeah. Do I keep that silent? I'm tempted to. What do I have got? I've got this is the door slam here. I might copy that and put it. This is reverbed at the minute, so I might just plonk, just copy that. And I might just add it to a different track. Let's have. Uh, let's put it up Pody footsteps. So we're done with footsteps here anyway. So I'm going to paste it there. Now let's have a little look. Oh, it's, it's the door. Sh we don't hear the latch. We just see it shut. Yeah. Okay, let's have a look. Uh, I don't want to move the automation date for that. <laughs> it's a bit too soon. I like it naturalistic though. So let's have it about there. Let's try that. Too soon. It's hard to see because there's a weird shot. Yeah, that'll probably do it. Okay, let's run into that a little bit just to see. Okay, right, so the next thing I want to do is I want to do, I'm going to do the keys last. And what I want to do now is this whole door sequence, the door. So, now actually, I think, let's have a look. I 
I'm going to, I think this is all pretty much okay at the minute. So actually I can take away that footsteps. Let me just check there's nothing else on there. Yeah, I can take that Foley footsteps bridge track out because I copied that into the other track. So, okay, so I'm going to track lay it. Uh, well, not track lay it, level it. So I'm going to go to the mixer. Um, in fact, let's select. Uh, uh, that should be Foley Footsteps Church now. I, pr I just probably copied the track earlier and never renamed it. So I quite like that being there. Um, and let's, uh, let's have, yes, Footsteps here. So I might do a bit of tweaking. So we're just going to have these two tracks. Go to the mix, so they should be both highlighted. There they are. So I'm not going to highlight them both because it'll, it'll move them independent. Uh, it'll move them together. But I'm. I just wanted to know which tracks they were. So I'm going to put both of these on right, and I'm going to just play them through. And I'm, it gives me a chance to have a little bit of a look at them as well. That level is okay, but it's not a dramatic level. It's a kind of naturalistic level. We want that door slam to be louder. Let's look at these footsteps. So those need to be reverbed and they need to be louder, moving quieter. big sound as well okay so I've sort of sort of done those now so first of all I want to do the gate or the door latch I should I beg your pardon so at the moment let's look at this let's see what our reverbs we've got on here we've got our reverb chapel and our big reverb so I'm going to take that down and switch read off for a minute See that, I'm going to take that level down a bit because it's it's outside. So we're not going to hear the interior reverb away until we're actually in the in the chapel. And it's from this point on. OK, so. So I'm going to go to uh, latch. Um, and here we are, bus six. Oh, Brin's got up. Have a bit of a run in. Let's play. I might as well watch that out. I'll watch a bit of that up as well. Okay, I'm going to tweak level a bit here as well. I think that's the last we hear. Oh no, we have this metal gate opening. Okay, I'll put the level back up for that later on. Next, I want to do these footsteps. So these footsteps start off. And then. Well, I'm in the wrong 
crap. <laughs> what am I doing? Okay, here we are. Let's sell them for a sec. Put them up a bit. That's no one like it. Okay, so go to latch. Start off quite dry because we're exterior and then boost them up. So off we go. Taking it down a bit. Took him down a bit because he was closer up to us. The further it goes away, the more the sound reflects before it reaches our ears. Okay, and I'm going to do level on this now. Oh, I need to go further back. Okay. There we go. I'm not going to bother with panning. <clears throat> so I'm going to have a listen to this whole thing now. Um, from the going into the church, the chapel, I should say. Okay, that works for me. So let's do the iron gate now. Here we are um, onto this track. I'm going to go to latch. No, nope, latch. Okay, so. something a bit non-diegetic 
to really um, push that. Okay, so let's uh, continue with the key score. Switch that mic off. Okay, so let's play it now. This is the key scoring across the uh, gravestone. Okay, so that works quite well. Let's have a little run into it. Yeah, okay, so I'm just going to do that trick. I've done it a bit already. I'm going to take the level up a bit using the uh, game function that's in the EQ. Um, I'm thinking maybe of adding a bit of echo. So I'm going to, this is my track, I'm on key score. I'm going to select uh, echo. There we go, echo. Uh, oh, let's have a, just have a listen how that sounds like without me changing anything. Let's have another try. It's a little bit Blake 7. Take the feedback down a bit. That's how many times the echo repeats. Yeah, I quite like that. I'll maybe down a little bit. Yeah, okay, just adds a little bit. Let's run into that a bit. Let's have a little look with a bigger screen. Okay, that'll do for now. So, the next thing I want to do is the key jangle. Um, so here we are, I'm gonna unmute the keys. Let's have a little play just to see how it is at the minute. Uh, it's okay, and again, I could boost the level a little bit. Let's have another play. <laughs> okay, so I seem to recall these keys not being, let's put the pitch shift back in and see if that's better. Yeah, I prefer that. Remember we did the pitch shift, mix 100%, I'm going to take it down an extra semitone, just to, to make the key seem a bit bigger, because I used the wrong kind of keys, because that's all I had. So here we go, key jangle. Um, and I'm going to go to right. It's going to tell me that you're going to rub over stuff, but like I said, we haven't, um, we haven't you we haven't written onto this track yet, so that should be fine. So let's start a bit lower, and off we go.
Mm. I'm not sure that works. I'm going to take piece shift off again. Let's last, listen to that last bit again. Okay, I might have to redo the keys, or I certainly would be redoing them if I was doing this for real. Okay, so. Save. Now. I want to create some kind of room tone because one of the things that in the all there's no such thing as mute in um, sound to picture. There's only one instance of mute ever being used, and that was for a very small scene in Leaving Las Vegas. And Mike Figgis, the director, wanted to experiment the idea of this man being so drunk, Nicolas Cage, that for a short period the whole film is mute. Even when a film appears to be absolutely silent, there's always kind of room tone. There is a, there's always a sound bed. Uh, and this one time, there wasn't one. Um, but the minute, when we're not hearing these sounds, the footsteps and the, the gate and things like that inside, it goes to mute. Now, there's an awful lot of reverberation um, on these effects. Um, and so you don't really sense that. But I want to try and create a kind of weird kind of mute. So... I'm going to use the sampler. Now I've already done a, a basic how to use the sampler. Um, so I'm going to create a new track underneath key score. So I'm going to create a new one. It's a software instrument and it's sampler multi, multi sample. Here we go. Um, and let's um, open that out and there we have it let's go to our mapping so I want to create some um, archetypal sounds so what I'm going to do using this microphone over here I don't know if you can see it it's plugged in it's a standard microphone I'm going to solo it and I'm just going to make some <laughs> I'm just going to make some sort of natural sounds with my <coughs> my voice um, the idea is archetypal sound sounds that predate human existence um, up to and including human existence have a kind of an emotional resonance with us thunderstorms natural sounds yeah um, and I believe that we can create kind of room tones and dy dynamic room tones by taking um, an archetypal sound such as a voice uh, and then lowering it to a pitch or changing it so that you no longer have the cognitive um, recognition of that sound it's, I call them stem cell sounds, these kind of sound washes, archetypal sound washes. This is kind of theory of my own, really. So we'll see if it works. And we might run it all the way through, but it's certainly for the end sequence. Uh, and this is a horror film. So I'm going to do a variety of sounds, and then I'm going to layer them all on top of each other on this keyboard, and I'm going to then play them on the sampler lower down. So at the moment, all I'm doing um, on uh, this track here I'm just going to use the non music non diegetic jack because that wants to be free. Um, is okay, so here we go. Yeah, yeah, all right, all right. Okay, let's have a listen. Okay, so I'm going to chop them up a bit. So here's the first one's the breathing. Let's find out where it actually starts. I'm going to make it there. We are. So I'm going to trim it to there, to here. Let's just let's play this. Okay. 
I'm going to do two layers. So, um, I'm going to chop that there, chop that there. Let's drag that baby on, and let's and let's have it run across the whole of the keyboard. Okay, so let's try this one. Let's drop this baby on as well, and let's have a little listen. Um, will it play both? Is it layering both? I don't know. Should be. Um, and let's take uh, this one here. Let's drag that on as well. All right. So. <laughs> let's mute that track and unmute this one. Am I getting signal? signal I've created I've just plugged in a new machine a new little wire to convert to USB and for some reason it worked originally it doesn't seem to be working now very loud okay so let's go back into the sampler see if we can boost the volumes C two C blah 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 blah. I wouldn't mind seeing the two, the three. Let's have a. Let's, have a, let's just. I wouldn't mind seeing the three different sounds and balancing up. I haven't worked out how to do this with this new sequencer yet. This new um, sampler. There's the mapping zones. This, what's this one? Hmm. Um, okay, I'll go with that. It's not perfect. What I will do is add some effects. So again, some reverberation. Stereo. Uh, all right. Um, let's have a large space hall. Large hall. Okay, so here we go. So now I'm going to just basically play all the way through. Um, tone ish. Okay, so um, and I'm going to solo it. So I'm just hearing the sampler without reference to any of the other stuff. Let me have a little, let me have a little play.
<laughs> okay, that was interesting. Now I did a few little higher hits to represent um, the girl in the um, uh, yeah in the um, graveyard. Sorry, sorry. I'm thinking about what I'm going to be doing next rather than telling you what I'm I'm doing now. But they were always reactive. This is something you don't quantize. But I'm going to open up. Here we go. I'm going to zoom in. Um, and so I'm going to move these ones so they actually fit in with her action because I play them a bit late. On the understanding, on my understanding, I can move them later. So let's go from here. There. So let's take those and let's move those to there. Let's see how that works. We won't hear the low stuff now because um, um, the thing about MIDI is that if, you, if you're not playing the very beginning of the clip uh, of the um, um, whatever that we call that, um, it won't play it. You've got to start from the beginning. Let's, let's see if we can make it a little bit longer. Try that. Yeah, nice. Okay, there's another one on its way, I think. Okay, we wanted to start about here. So let's just move those a little bit. Let's try that. That could be a bit longer. <laughs> okay, it was a bit late. Let's move those a little bit. A little bit earlier, not that even. There. Again, this can last a bit longer, the little high one. Maybe. We're starting to build our comedy now a little bit, but oh, what the hell is this fun? <laughs> Where's the next one? It'll be the key score next, I suspect. Okay, so I've done all of that. So now I'm going to kind of mix it. So I'm going to go back to take the solo off. Here it is. Um, and it, it's exactly the same. Looks, we can lose that then, go back to our mixer. It's exactly the same process. There it is. So. I'm going to start from the very beginning. I'm going to write and I'm going to start it very low because it all starts nice and naturalistically uh, and then gets more and more freaky. Here we are. Ha, ha, ha. 
close enough for rock and roll. Uh, okay, and finally, just for a final, I'm going to save that. Let's have a play through to see it all kind of works together. Uh, okay, here we go. Not bad, ish. Um, keys, key jangle. Um, I'm going to go back to um, latch. What what reverb is that? Big reverb. 
I'm going to put uh, verb chapel in as well. Here we go. Okay, and there we have it. So, <clears throat> save. So, that's how you do a post production sound design. Um, the next thing we need to do is to um, um, bounce it down and import it into um, our video editing software of choice. In my case, it's Final Cut Pro. And then lay it down and bounce it out and I'll post it onto YouTube but I think we've done enough for today I'll do that as a separate session so have a cup of tea